Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the Manhattan Jaspers and the Kansas Jayhawks. Number 25 is the player we're focusing on in this game tonight. Brad, this kid combines exceptional athleticism with exceptional basketball skill and offense. That's a scary thought for opposing defenses, my friend. The Jayhawks will certainly want to take advantage of his presence on the floor. The Jayhawks should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the keys are as follows. First, play at your style. Don't get roped into doing things that you normally don't do. You must be in control. Next, don't let that big man become a factor offensively. Keep him off the block, push him away from the low box, and force him to shoot jump shots. And lastly, execute defensively. Don't get caught going for the big steals or the big blocks. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Hopkins handles the feed. He shoots from the baseline. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? The Jaspers go to the line for the first time in this game. Misses. He makes it. Trying to pack it inside. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. High post screen, gonna use it? Buries it. Let's see if it looks as good on the replay. is animated and ready to go. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. What is euphoria out there? They're really excited. They're going bananas. Number 55 with the fake. Fake. The ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He'll regroup the offense. Gave it up. Dump it inside. Hopkins receives the ball. Inside. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with him. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. He shoots from the top of the circle. Goes. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And a momentary look from three-point land. He tries the three. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him and I'd see what happens. On the dribble, gives it up. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. For the bucket. 
He gets that one to fall. That's a 9 nothing run. They work the perimeter. Hopkins handles the pass. Picks off the lazy pass. McCarty receives the pass. Goes in. That's an 11 0 run. surprise the opposition with a little change here Dick that might not be a bad idea shows patience waiting for the reset they'll work it around the arc trying to draw some contact gets it to fall gave it up he uses the shot fake for two it's good Look at this last play right here. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. We get another look. Say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Oh yes. <laughs> he attempts the three. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nestler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. He comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. He gets it to fall. Oh. Fed the low block. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Looking for a good shot. Inside. Fakes the shot. Tries for two. He gets it to go. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Stolen away. I think they're trying to make a statement. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. The post flashes up high if he wants it. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He strips him clean. What action! Back and forth. And one. Are you kidding me? Hey, he threw that down with authority, baby. Make a statement, young man. Make a statement. He goes to the line for the first time. He can't get one to fall. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Looking for the foul. Perfectly executed. Double team now. Bad angle. He's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. They get out on the break. Wet scores it, and he's fouled. So an and one opportunity here.
He's mocking the crowd. Now that's throwing salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. You've got that right, Brad. And we'll go to the free throw line. It goes in. They scored seven in a row. Picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. Blocks the shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Robs him of the ball. They work it around the perimeter. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. Sinks it. Dump it inside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Oh, I love this guy. I love him. Had a momentary look from three-point land. He rejects it. The last line of defense is a good block. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. The skip pass is picked off. Inside. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, both the players and coaches seem really confused right now around the benches. Again, the focus seems to be getting their number one guy going. They haven't been able to do anything without him tonight. We're going to have to keep an eye on him. All right. Thanks, Aaron. They'll work it around the arc. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He shoots from the top of the key. The Jayhawks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket, in and out. Looking for contact. For two, doesn't go. Thinks about the shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He gets the shot to fall. There's the trap. Perfectly executed. Both teams are looking to get something going here. From three-point range. That was nice. I need to see that again in slow-mo. <laughs> he 
He shoots from the top of the circle. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. Jumps into the defender. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose the air. And you get balled like I am. Jumped in front to take it away. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Way out on top, controlling the ball. And the ball goes out of play. High post flashes for the opportunity. Cross court. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Now they work it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that mascot looks like a lost puppy dog, Dick. I'll tell you, the mascot's so sad and reflects their play. Takes the shot. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Drains the shot. Gave it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Look at this, Mr. Nestle. He has a little something for the opposition. That, to me, is a no-no. They work the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. On the outside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. High post screen. Leans in. Perfectly executed. Stolen away. And now in transition, going the other way for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Fakes a jumper. For two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. They work it around the perimeter. 
Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize. He got fouled in the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time story. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? He'll go to the line. Got it from the free throw line. Pressure in the basketball. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Takes away the pass. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. In the paint. Good fake. Tries for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Stolen ball. Harvey goes for the aggressive steal from the tightly guarded position. He's got to pick and choose, Brad. Pick and choose when to go for the steal. it up looking for contact look at that try there that's more like my stuff wow little barishnikov right there you always were a dancer <laughs> shots there if he wants it puts up the shot he hits the tough shot hunter's not gonna deal with ease brad him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Makes the shot. Work it inside and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Pump fakes. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Fakes it. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Backcourt violation call. A little bit of a mental lapse by the offense that time, Dick. The offense sets up from the sideline. Gave it up. The center takes the pass in the paint. There's the fake. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. And the ball goes out of bounds. There's the screen up on top. Nice step in it, man. Take a look right here. Little burst to go up in shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Takes the pass in the paint. And he'll kick it back outside. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Dick 
Not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Arte just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? Looking for a good shot. He puts up the three ball. Way off target. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Tries to get the D to bite. Goes up for two. Ate does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. On the dribble, gives it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Gave it up. On the top of the circle, Dalton buries the three-pointer. The replay will give us a better look. He puts it up at the horn. Misses from way outside. At halftime, the Jayhawks trail by 17. Well, let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Kansas just couldn't seem to stop turning the ball over in that first half, Dick. Hey, if you ask me, these guys haven't clued on the magnitude of this game yet. They need to take care of the ball from here on in, or they have no shot, and they'll be running lots of laps tomorrow in practice. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, focus player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. The historic Allen Fieldhouse. 7,000 seats reserved for the students, the host of numerous NCAA championships. Hey, it truly is a great building, Brad. It's only used for men's and women's basketball. Strips the ball. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He's money with a shot. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. Let's watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Working it around the perimeter. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Watch this again. Gave it up. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. He shoots from right of the circle. Trying to draw the foul. There was no doubt about that one. Oh, 
Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Up and inside. On the inside for two. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. And they get the turnover. On the outside. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Defense giving some room. Off the rim and no good. Trying to draw some contact. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. Gave it up. He puts up the tray. Gets it to go. The center gets the ball. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There's the pick. There's the roll. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. Good job defensively. Goes up for two. Buried it. The Jaspers are up by 15. Here's the offensive drop step and the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the base. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. And a momentary look from three-point land. He intercepts it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The pressure's getting to him, Brad. Up fake. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Ten seconds showing on the shot clock. He throws it up from downtown. They are red hot from behind the arc, Dick. They're rolling all cylinders right now. To the live action we go. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. On the outside. Looking for contact. Oh, easy one. The Jaspers lead by 23. He takes it away. 
Oh, what a great job. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Steals a pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. the perimeter and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot there's a look at the timeout situation hey some people like to call it game management brad knowing when to use timeouts is an art also team fouls defending without fouling is always important free throw is good This is the second shot. And his shot rejected. Way off target. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Definitely a foul. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestle, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. He hits it. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Taken away. Tries for two with a layup. They move it into the front court. Jumps into the defender. The romp is on, baby. This one's gotten ugly. Picks off the lazy pass. Land. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Steal. They push it up on the break from right at the circle. The Jaspers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brady's on fire. Picked off. Too physical. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? the game really important here you want to establish some good tempo the Jayhawks are behind by 23 up and inside pressure that basketball help one another communicate
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Goes up for two. Whatever's left in the tank needs to be used, Dick, and it needs to be used right now. There they come with a double team to stop it. Here's the three ball. Off the rim and no good. And he scores despite the hack. Picks off the pass. Looking for a good shot. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. He puts it up, way off target. And a momentary look from three-point land. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that ball. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Goes to the line. Rims off. It's the second. Nick, they're really going to have to monitor this because they've hit the bottom mentally. They're really going to be in some big, big trouble. Pushes it up. Working it around the perimeter. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the players and coaches seem really confused around the bench area right now. Again, the focus seems to be getting their number one guy going. They haven't been able to do anything without him tonight. All right, thanks, Aaron. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. As you would say right here, Mr. Vitell, flop city. I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. We'll take the shot. Kansas is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. The small forward takes the pass. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. Look at that spacing. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Let's it fly. Knocks it down. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Perfectly executed. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He takes the shot off the baseline, off the rim, and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. And has 
has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Kansas are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Adam in the low block, but opted against it for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Now the high screen. He shoots from the elbow. Scorches the net. Two. They still don't score. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing off is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Yeah, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He looks for the bomb. That was nice. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. come up with a steal and they do he gets the bucket to fall Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip I'll tell you one thing he's trying to deny him the ball initially but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off Side jumper. Got it. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. Gave it up. They work the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. <laughs> Gave it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. We get another look at it in the lane. Pressure on a basketball. Way to play the ball. Tough. Drive him, beat him, turn him, beat him to his spot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. There's the trap. They've left him completely alone. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? They're definitely having some fun out there. The lead is now seven points. This game is still up for grabs, Brad. Off the rim and no good. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker, elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? For that reason right there, that's why I love college basketball. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. And it takes some pride on the defensive end. Up and inside. That's a matter of clock management, isn't it? 
You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. And the clock stopped with a foul. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Dad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers, missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. He steps up to the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. Gets the second. Timeout's called. Time is not on their side right now, Brad. They need some big shots, baby. to get back to the action. They had a shot block. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. One plus one if it's good. Gets it. Second shot, good. He tries the three ball, rims out. For the bucket, up, easy one. The screener takes a big time blow setting that pick. On the dribble, gives it up. Got some room. Well, the game's over now. It's easy to look back at your focus player and say that you maybe picked the wrong focus player. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. Kansas couldn't get enough going before the final buzzer. This is going to be hard to swallow since they were the favorites coming into this game. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.